What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you. Coming at you with some brand new figure images, man. And we saw these figures back at WrestleMania 40, but today we have a closer look at them. And I wanted to discuss it because I have a lot of thoughts about it, man. I have a lot of thoughts about it. And I want to dive into it with you, man. We're going to be breaking down the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Defining Moments 4-pack Series number 2. Now, I know it's not Series 2 of the Defining Moments, but technically it is Series 2 of this brand new 4-pack system that Ringside Collectibles and Mattel have implemented together in this new project of the Defining Moments, but we're going to dive into the whole thing. It is going to be another four-pack like we saw last time with Cody Rhodes, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and Mankind. Now we're getting Rob Van Dam, Kane, CM Punk, and LA Knight. But let's dive into the figures and we'll dive into everything, man. We have to start off first probably with Pipe Bomb CM Punk, a true, a true defining moment right here. This is a perfect inclusion for this line. I don't think anybody can really argue that. But we did see this figure back at WrestleMania 40. We saw it on display, and it looks pretty decent here. We're going to run through some things. I don't think it's a perfect figure. Just hear me out, man. I want you guys to just really buckle down here. Taking a look at the figure, you know, in the packaging, I think it looks really good, man, on card. I think that it covers up some of the issues that I have with this figure. But you can see it comes with a Stone Cold t-shirt, all those different things. It's your classic Defining Moments packaging that we've come to know. It is going to be smaller like it was with the, you know, the Torn Pet Cody and the Shawn Michaels and stuff. It is going to be in that smaller size. Set. It's it's based on the original packaging, but it is a little bit smaller, you know, to fit them all in that four-pack box, which is a cool thing to do. I do like it, but I understand people are probably going to be upset that, you know, this punk is in this four-pack, you know, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's a it's an exclusive. It is a defining moment. It's a perfect inclusion for this line, but let's go through it, man. The first thing that I'm noticing about this figure, man, he doesn't have drug-free on his hands. He does not have drug-free on his hands, which I think is a pretty big deal given that it's probably one of his most iconic tattoos i mean outside of i would say i mean it's in the top five one of his most recognizable tattoos i'd say you know the drug free on the knuckles and they're not there man so that is a big deal i would say originally that is what i saw but this is a repaint of the elite 16 head sculpt and it does look pretty solid it's kind of like a true effects version i don't hate it you know the hair's a bit brown instead of that darker color you could easily fix that. I don't think that's the biggest deal, but it's not It's not perfect by any stretch. But I think that that problem, the drug-free problem, you know, some other things that we're going to touch on is probably just a result of them probably rushing this figure out, I think. This, this figure was probably rushed. At least that's what it looks like at this juncture. But this is a re-release of the All-Stars Punk. But the original All-Stars Punk had chest hair instead of all of his tattoos. And it had a longer-haired head sculpt. It came in a two-pack All-Stars Elite two-pack with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I remember, I remember finding that pack at a con one time got an amazing deal on it what a day, what a day to be alive but this one is kind of a re-release of that at least the gear is but you'll also notice on the figure the stars on the on the crotch like the stars on his attire I feel like they're too spaced out am I tripping it just doesn't look right to me it looks it looks a bit off in the spatial it, like the way that, that they're spaced out and then on his kick pads the stars look too close together am I crazy and they may look a little bit small I, I don't know I, I could be wrong about that I'm not a CM Punk enthusiast. There are some things that I can notice about CM Punk, and that is definitely one of those things. I just think that it, there's some issues there, man. There are some issues with this figure. You can tell me what you think. The star spaces on the kick pads, the star spaces on the crotch. And I know it's like, oh, what are you nitpicking for? It's like, well, Brad, it's going to bother me personally if I put it up next to the rest of my CM Punks and all their stars are pretty symmetrical. And then I look at this one and it's way wacky and way off. But at the same time, you will have the shirt on the figure, but not everybody's going to keep the shirt on the figure, man. You're going to, multiple people bought multiples of these to have it without the shirt with the shirt you know we're excited about CM Punk we're excited to get these double jointed arms in here and that's just something that I noticed right off the cuff is I felt like the stars spaces were kind of weird on the kick pads on the trunks his drug free tattoos missing the hair colors a little bit weird I do remember mentioning some of these things at WrestleMania 40 when we saw the figure on display but outside of those things this is still a perfect inclusion into the defining moments line I love that we're getting this moment. This is a figure that a lot of people would probably say been waiting on for a very long time. I remember people using the All-Stars Punk, putting a modern head sculpt on it, and taking the Stone Cold shirt from the WrestleMania Stone Cold figure. They'd pop that on there, and people had a kind of fix-up version of this for years and years. And now to finally have an official version is a huge deal, and they definitely needed to include this. I think we're going to have to wait on it, but regardless of, you know, a little bit of issue there, a little bit of issue here, at the end of the day, this is still a massive deal to be getting this figure. I know that a lot of people, this is probably, if I had to guess, this is probably going to be, this and that basic CM Punk will be the first two Punks that we get in our hands since he returned to WWE. So this will be the first elite Punk that we actually have in our hands since he returns. And it's, 
it's a great return because it is such a big moment. It is his pipe bomb promo, which is such a defining moment and something that, you know, wrestling fans alike will remember for generations. And this is a perfect defining moment. So I still think CM Punk's probably the best in the set. You know, I can't really judge it until we get him in hand. We'll rank the set when we review this entire wave by itself. But has to be mentioned. It has to be talked about the problems that I saw with that figure. But I did want to mention it and talk about it. But people are certainly hyped for it. They're excited for it. I'm excited for it. But I had to get on here and just touch on it and talk about it. But let's move on to the next figure. We have the Rob Van Dam figure, which uh, uh, right off the cuff, man, the head sculpt on this is not it. It is the Monday Night War Series 3 head sculpt. And I do not like the head sculpt. I love the attire. You know, getting a white attire RVD in here is nice. I love the inclusions of the brand new championships. They look fantastic. I love the Mr. Monday Night on the back. I think this is a really good gear. I actually like this gear a lot. I am going to be head swapping it. And him and CM Punk do include the large knee pads, which is what they wear. Uh, you know, you can give or take. I'm definitely going to be switching out both of them. I don't care for these knee pads. I don't even want to look at these knee pads. But he looks pretty good here in terms of, I'd say from the neck down, it looks phenomenal. But then the head sculpt is certainly not good. I don't like the head sculpt. It is the same Monday Night War Series 3 RVD head sculpt. But you, you switch out that head sculpt, it's going to be really damn good. I like the attire a lot. I like the championships. This is very nice. Now, this is the moment where he defeated Bam Bam Bigelow for the television championship, which is pretty cool. I, I like it. I think that it's cool. I definitely didn't think that we would be getting an ECW defining moment, but I think that is really cool the more I think about it. Now, is it the first defining moment that you think of for RVD? Not me personally. I think including the money in the bank, you know, from his win and having the airbrush money in the bank would have been a much sicker release, you know, throwing the IC title, throwing the Mr. Money in the Bank airbrush to briefcase. I don't know how we still don't have that in the damn line. I don't know how that's not in the line yet. Been begging for that for years, but I'm such a big RVD fan that I'll take any RVD, and this is a beautiful one. A white gear, great championships. All you gotta do is a head swap. I'm gonna take that. I'll take that. I don't really care if it's in the Defining Moments line or not. This is a damn good RVD figure for what it's worth, and I'm excited for it. So, wouldn't have been my first choice for the Defining Moments line, but I still like it. You know what I mean? I think it's a good execution, and I like it. I like the figure. Good stuff right here for RVD. I'm just gonna be head swapping it because I don't like this head sculpt, but CM Punk and RVD are probably the highlights of the set, but we are going to get into the lower parts of the set, and in, at least in my opinion, but we're going to move on to it, man. We're moving into the Defining Moments Kane. Now, I love Kane more than anybody you'll find, Brad. I do love Kane. Kane was always one of my favorites growing up. I think every kid that grew up watching Kane in his prime loved him, and or they were deathly afraid of him, I guess you could say. But you know what I mean, man? This is a good-looking figure. I just don't think it was needed. I don't think this figure was needed, man. This is a, pretty much an elite version of the Ultimate Edition, and the Ultimate Edition was so damn good, I don't think that this figure was needed, but at the same time, it is a good execution. So I can, I get what they're doing here. I do like that they com it comes with the pyro for the for the turnbuckles. I think that is a very cool thing. I think that's genius. You could do some cool things there. I like, I do like that. I think that is pretty damn cool and awesome. And I have an idea for something. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try it when we review this figure, when I do some figure photography. I have an idea that I'm going to try with this figure to see if we can make it even better. It's a good head sculpt. It's a repeat head sculpt of the Ultimate Edition, and then the, from the neck down, it's just, I, I don't know, man, I just don't think this necessarily needed to be a release here. I think you could have put this in any other line, I just don't think this needed to be necessarily a defining moment, and I don't know what the Ultimate Edition Kane goes for in the aftermarket, but I would just go after the Ultimate Edition. I think that the Ultimate Edition is the perfect Kane, and this is from his Inferno match with The Undertaker, but again, when I compare it with the Ultimate Edition, I think I'd rather have the Ultimate Edition, and where well, that's gonna kind of touch on something that we get into later with the next figure, but I don't know, man, like, the fire the turnbuckle post and then having his arm on fire is it is it it's a cool it's, it's cool you know i've seen other companies do this neca has done something like this we've seen different things with different companies beforehand and then he does have black pegs in his legs which isn't like the biggest deal of all time but it's certainly worth mentioning he does have black pegs in his legs so it kind of stands out just a little bit there on the inside but not the biggest deal of all time and even on the ultimate edition you know he has that sculpted belt in there that kind of adds a dimension to it again it's not a bad figure it's still a really good cane figure it's just did we need to fill a defining moment spot for this and that's my only question with this great execution cool accessories just did this belong in the defining moment section i think there could have been other picks here that would have sufficed and that's kind of my big deal with this set overall moving to the last figure in the set it's gonna be la knight here and la knight i don't know man i i just i even commented on this i said like la knight but he's yet to have a defining moment and i think that's probably what the biggest deal with this figure for me is and then like the formula and everything else is just kind of mid i guess I don't like the formula they use for LA Knight. I think that it could be better. It's mainly the legs and the torso choice. It's not the worst thing of all time, but I certainly would like to see the Macho Man torso on him. I think that 
Bobby Roode thighs would probably be better for his legs. There's just some certain things that would really upgrade him, and I really don't like this head sculpt, man. I really don't. I don't think this head sculpt's very good. It is a different head sculpt, which I can get on board with, but he doesn't look like LA Knight to me. It doesn't look like LA Knight to me. And that's his second Elite now that will not look like LA Knight. He does have his signature hands in there, which I like. I like the gear. The silver, black, and yellow is a nice gear. Read the back of the box here. It says, let me talk to you. At SummerSlam 2023, LA Knight won the opening Battle Royal, sending the WWE Universe into a frenzy. They wanted more. The summer of 2023 marked the summer that everybody wanted a certain bold and brash megastar to be in the mix for the Undisputed Championship more than anyone else in WWE. And that's not an insult. That's a fact of life. Whose game is it? With everybody saying LA Knight, yeah. That is not a defining moment. That's not a defining moment to me. That's not a defining moment to me. I know that the in the history of the defining moments line, not every figure has been a home run. I get that. that I think that they have... I think that there's probably a couple figures out there that they've reached on. Like, this doesn't really need to be a defining moments figure. That has certainly happened. But I don't know, man. I just don't... I don't think that LA Knight has done anything here. I think this could have been a top picks figure. You could have repainted the Elite 108, which would have been the same figure, and put it in the top picks line, and nobody... Everybody would have thought that that was fine. I think. I just don't think taking a spot in a defining moments line was the move here. I like the signature hands. I like the attire. I just think that there was, I mean, there were so many other people that could have been here. And I get that he's popular. I get that. I get people want LA Knight, but I don't think this is the spot for him. I think that they could have done something else there. And I want more LA Knight figures. I like LA Knight, man. I want to see more figures of him, but I don't think that this was the spot for him. I think they could have done other things. And another thing is that his Ultimate Edition coming out, is it not very similar to this? And it's going to be released not too too long eh, I don't know this figure is going to hit in the next couple months I'd say probably around comic-con I bet this arrives either the week before comic-con maybe even it could be in the next two weeks something like that this figure is going to be hitting very very soon and I'm sure that ultimate edition is going to be better than this and it's gonna I, I don't know what the gear is for that but I guess it's not that big of a deal I don't know man it's just I don't think this is the best defining moments pick ever but as a four pack like they all look good up next to each other you know they're they're good figures overall there are their gripes you know I think there are definitely their gripes, but I just don't think that it's the best defining moment set right here, man. I think that they, each figure has its own problems or its own deals there, and it's not like that first set was the greatest of all time, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think. I just, what the hell do, what the hell do I know, Brad? You can let me know what you think of all that down in the comment section below, but I wanted to get on here, touch on this defining moment set since we had all the images revealed. Again, I think this is a set that's probably going to be shown off to us very, very soon, man. I imagine this set is going to be hitting very soon, man, and I think some of these are still for pre-order. I don't think the Pipe Bomb Punk is in stock. It may be on back order, but the rest of the set, I think, is, is up for pre-order. If you want to get your orders in right now, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I want to know what you guys think of this full Defining Moments line. I guess I guess what it was is I was so excited for the next wave of this that maybe I just put too much thought into it of what it could be that I kind of let myself down. I got I don't know. Some, something about that. I got to stop doing that. But I would like to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this entire Defining Moments 4-pack. Which figures do you like? Which ones do you not? The Pipe Bomb Punk is a slam dunk home run just has its own issues with the figure execution in terms of the, you know, the star spaces and the, the tattoos and things like this. RVD is a pretty good slam dunk, I'd say. Head sculpt's not the best for sure, but easy head swap, especially nowadays without the need of a white trusty hair dryer. Kane, good figure, just not a need to anybody's collection, I don't think. There's certainly other times. I think the ultimate is the one that you should pick. I do like the turnbuckle fire, though. And then LA Knight, I don't know, Brad. Uh, that's a top picks figure for me. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap the video. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. And appreciate all those fellows over there. Huge shout out to Thomas Stalker for signing up yesterday, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much for the continued support. Appreciate all the patron members over there. But I'd like to know what you guys think of this entire set down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of each and every single one of these figures. Where are you let down? Do you think it's a home run wave? I'd like to know, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.